quick tutorial for Adobe Illustrator on how to give whatever you're working on a little bit more hand-drawn look. Uh, as you can see, we're starting with an ampersand here. I'm just going to kind of zoom in. Uh, as you can tell, the edges look very computer-made, a bit too perfect. We want more of a hand-drawn look that has a few more imperfections. So the first thing I'm going to do is select it using just the pointer tool, uh, which is V by default to select it. Just drag it over whatever you're working on. And in this case, the edges are very straight. Uh, we want them rounded. And if what you're working on already has rounded edges, you can skip this step. But I'm just going to quickly apply a stroke. So I'm just going to make a black stroke here. And then using the stroke palette, and if you don't see this, it's just under window and then stroke. And you can select it that way. I'm going to give it a stroke of about three point. And then under cap and corner right here, I'm just going to select the middle option, which is for round cap and round corner. And now if I zoom in on these same corners, you can tell they're nice and rounded. And this gives us a good starting point to apply the effect. So once again, I'm just going to highlight this. And next I'm going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, and then Roughen. And this will bring up the Roughen option panel right here. And just hit Preview. And as you can see, this is pretty darn crazy. So we're going to have to kind of dial this back to get it looking a bit more uh, normal, shall we say. So under Points, right here, I'm just going to select Smooth. And then under Options, right under Size, there's Relative and Absolute. Relative is a percentage based, kind of based on the size of the thing that you're working on. But I'm going to pick Absolute because it gives a little bit more control. And I just suggest kind of getting your work to a point where it's the right size before you apply this effect. Uh, as you can tell, the size right now is 0 0.07 inches. I'm actually going to dial this all the way back to 0 0.01 inches. And now I'm going to move the detail up to 20 an inch. And I'm just going to hit OK. And there you have it. As you can see, this looks a lot more hand done now. Uh, Without the perfect edges, when you're doing words or shapes, this kind of gives a nice appearance that, you know, this wasn't done in a, a digital program. Maybe it was done by hand and then scanned in, something like that. Like, that's the general idea of what we're trying to achieve here. Um, and also, just as a little bit of a, a tip for you, if you go to Window and then Appearance, it brings up this panel right here, the Appearance panel. And it's a really cool thing to kind of know and use. And as you can see, the effect we applied Ruffin is on this appearance panel. So if I ever want to turn it off, I just hit this little eyeball icon right here. And that'll turn that off for us. Or I can pop it back on. And also you can go in and just click on the effect and then make changes. You know, just select preview and you can change it on the fly and hit OK. You know, go back in, change it back down to where you started. This is a nice way to quickly uh, make effects. Whoops. Make your effects look the way you want if you didn't get it right the first time or if whatever you're working on changes and you kind of need to go back in and uh, make it look the way it should. So hopefully this video was helpful. It's super fast to do and it, especially when used right, it can add a ton of character whatever you're doing. You know, I can even just do something as simple as make a, a straight line here. Now I'm just going to go to, ob let's actually make the weight a little bit thicker. Go to object. Expand. We don't want the stroke, so I'm just expanding the stroke. And then once again, you just go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Roughen, Preview it, Absolute at 0.1. Let's just make this something a bit higher, like even like 25. You know, and as you can see, like super, super quickly, and I don't think I made this smooth. Don't forget to make the point smooth unless you want those hard edges. But super quickly, it makes a, a much more hand-drawn looking element that has a lot of character, whatever you're working on. So if this video is helpful, please hit like and subscribe. And as a side note, I sell a bunch of cool textures and other things like that. So if you're ever looking for uh, some design resources, just check out the description and there's a link for you. And your support helps me continue making videos like these. So thanks for watching.